Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Oh, Mr. Gayfish, one no video in a month. Whoa, 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 don't rush me, mate. Don't rush me. And my name is Mr. Crayfish, not Mrs. Gayfish. So the reason I haven't made a video in a month is because I now go to university and I've been, I've been, um, having trouble finding time to actually create videos and I feel kind of like disappointed because I like making I love making videos and um, I don't have much time now because I've got to find time to study I've got to find oh I, I've got time to study but I got to find time to actually make videos but then also hang out with Charlotte and then hang out with friends so when you combine all those together I really don't have that much time but I am trying my best to find time to make videos and I'm gonna try and get back to a reg regular schedule really soon. It might be only like two or three videos a week, but that's gonna be better than nothing. But anyway, in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing off a little program that I've been working on for the past month. And the reason that I've started making this program is because of my furniture mod. I hate Jason block models because they are confusing. You can't visualize what you're typing. So I needed to create a program which will do that visualization for me and that I can actually make the, make the model visually is uh, what I mean. So this is what you see right in front of you right now. This is the program. So we can move around this palette here. We can spin it around. Uh, but the main thing is actually creating a model. So what I'm going to do is actually create a basic chair in, this, in today's video. It's not going to be a tutorial at all. It's just going to be creating a chair. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a cuboid and then we can set the size of it so um, too wide then we might make it uh, I don't know 8 eight high might be good then we're going to push it into on the X and the Z and then we can what we can do here is we're just going to duplicate it and um, then we're going to add some values onto the X there duplicate it again add it onto the Z and then one more duplication and come back right to the start here. So there we go, we've got our four legs of our model. We're going to create a new cuboid. We're going to take the position up to the height of the legs, pop it into on the X and the Z. And then we're going to make the width um, go to the ends of, we'll go to each leg. Make the width and the height go to each leg. And then we we'll also need to add a backing to the chair as well. So make that, oops, we'll just bring that up. Don't worry about the height. Um, needs to be up, oh, it needs to be offsetted. Uh, nine high, two on the um, X, and then 13 on the Z. Then we need to increase the width, and then we might also, well, we are going to make the height of the chair, or the height of the backing of the chair bigger. Now, we could also um, just increase that. Maybe you want to make it look a little bit more blocky. We could also do that for the base as well so you might put the size up like so. So there we have a basic kind of visualization of the chair. Now we can actually um, apply some textures to the chair which is really awesome. So if we go out over here to faces you'll see that we've got this little drop down menu um, determining the face that we're going to be going to be editing. Now the colors here correspond to the face over here so south obviously corresponds to this red face here and we can also determine that by looking at the compass as well so if you think about it looking at it from bird's eye view this is the north side this is the south side uh, east side and the west side then this is the top and then obviously the pink down there is the bottom so we're just going to select a texture now you can actually browse for one ex uh, um, from out of the program here so we're just going to go um, go to the assets folder for minecraft textures, blocks, and then we might, um, what might we do? What, what, um, what, uh, texture do you want to select? I don't want to be too picky here. Uh, we might just pick, um, iron block. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just select that, select that texture. And then at the back here, you can see that it has been applied, but what we're going to do is we're going to click copy here and then we're going to shift click paste and you'll notice that it is now all applied to the chair or to that um, chair base now we are going to just modify the uh, 
uh, UV here a little bit. We're just going to increase that by one. Seems to be a problem with this uh, top bit. Hold up. Increase that position up one. There we go. That's a lot better now. Uh, then we're just going to fix up this side here. So you might have, I think that's east. Increase. Oh no, that's the wrong one. The west? Nope. Oh, no, no, I'm editing the wrong thing. That one. East side. There we go. Um, and then we'll also do the uh, west side here as well. Just increment that so we don't have that stupid pixel on the side there. Um, for the top of it, what we can do is we can do... F Whoa, fill is not working. <laughs> Let's not get into fill there. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to increment the uh, that by that like that and then also one like that so we don't have those annoying pixels everywhere so that's looking pretty good. What we're going to do now is for the legs we're going to select another texture, browse and then we're going to go to Minecraft related assets, textures, blocks uh, then we might just go stone I think that will go with um, the texture quite well. So if we just click on copy then shift paste, it will apply it to the whole entire cuboid. Then we can do it for the rest of them. Paste, paste, and paste. Then we will do it for the top as well. So paste. And there we go. We got a very, very simple chair. What we might do is we're going to change that um, iron out for um, cobblestone. I think cobblestone will look a bit better and it'll kind of look like my um, chair from the furniture mod. So if I just get cobblestone, boom, select that, copy, paste. There we go, we've got our simple stone chair which was made which was made quite quickly. So compared to writing it up in JSON, you can do it straight in this program and you don't even have to worry about it. Now say if you want to export this right now, all you simply have to do is go up to the top here, file, export, and then just select the location, click on open, uh, that will be changed uh, soon, so it actually says export. Um, then we're going to load this up here, and as you can see, we have, oopsie, that uh, needs to be reloaded. Okay, that didn't export properly, hold up, export, oh no, exported in documents, my bad. Test model, there we go. It has generated all the JSON code that you need to actually um, display this model in game. You can actually simply override, uh, let's say we'll override the, um, I don't know, the cauldron render. We might just change the code inside the cauldron render, pop that in, and then we've got a chair in vanilla, which is really cool. Now, I haven't gone over all the features in this, and I'm not going to be doing that in today's video. I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of what you can actually do in this program. So, it is coming out very soon. I'm going to be releasing a test version this weekend. So, if you want to make, if you want to be notified when it comes out, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Um, tell me what you think about this program. Is it going to be good? Because it is going to be free, it's going to be open source, and there is also the option to donate if you want to um, support my efforts actually creating this program because I've put a lot of hours into it um, and I, uh, if you feel like I deserve some kind of something back from it then you can go ahead and donate but you don't have to. That's, what I, that's all I'm trying to get across. Uh, but yeah, there we go guys. That's going to end off this video today. I actually need to actually study and do some homework right now so I may have rushed this video a little bit but hopefully um, you guys still understood it. That's going to end off. I will see you guys next time. Remember to leave a like, follow me on Twitter as I mentioned and I will see you guys later. Bye.